Hey guys, I am out in the garage this morning and it feels so good to be working on a new project. These are my favorite days when we get to start something new. We are going to be building a wall mounted magazine rack and this is an awesome project because it's super beginner friendly uh, and we are only going to be using one board, one piece of wood. So you can go to your home improvement store and grab one piece of wood and build this with us. This is a one by three and we are using poplar, but you could use your favorite type of wood to build this. And then we're also going to be incorporating a little bit of leather on the front of the magazine rack. And if you didn't want to use leather, uh, you could probably replace that with a board. So I'll walk you through that when we get to it. Um, but we are going to jump in. Our first step is going to be cutting this wood down to size and we are sharing the free woodworking plans with you guys so you'll have all of the dimensions when you download this so you'll know exactly where to cut this one board all right let's jump in first step is to cut your wood down to size so i am using a miter saw to make the simple cuts again this is a one board project and there's only three different types of wood for this so we have a bottom board a hanger board on the back and then two side boards so the cuts are pretty simple once it's all cut, you can drill the pocket holes. Uh, the exact location of the pocket holes is shown on the woodworking plans and then sand everything down before assembling. I'm using an orbital sander. I used 80 grit sandpaper and then followed up with 150 grit sandpaper until everything was nice and smooth. Next, we added a keyhole and we added this to the back of the hanger board. This is where the pocket holes would have been drilled. And the keyhole bit is just going to help us uh, have a hole to hang it on the wall when we're all done. Now, if you don't have a keyhole bit or a router or you can't do this, no worries, you can do the same thing. You can either buy or make a French cleat or use some other method of hanging it on the wall. We just like the keyhole method because it allows the uh, whatever you're hanging on the wall to sit nice and flush on the wall. So here we used the router and some guides to make sure the keyhole uh, hole in the back is uh, in the right location and we tested it on a piece of scrap wood. That's our scrap wood there, made sure it was the same type of wood and same height and everything. And then we actually took the wood that we wanted to drill it on, made sure the measurements were the same on both sides and drilled two key holes on the back of that hanger board to hang it up on the wall. All right, so next you can assemble. I am using our Craig clamp table to keep everything squared up uh, while I assemble. You could also use some corner clamps. And then we're going to want to drill the pocket hole screws. We're using one and one quarter inch pocket hole screws into our pre-drilled pocket hole joints. For the top hanger board, it gets a little more tricky. You actually need to clamp it into place uh, before. We're using the brand new Craig VersaGrip bar clamp for this and we clamped it into place and then uh, assembled that and attached it on the back using the pocket hole screws. All right, so we used a one by three piece of poplar for this project and Craig doesn't make any poplar pocket hole plugs. So we decided to use our custom plug cutter drill guide kit with our 720 Pro. And I love this because you can make uh, your own pocket hole plugs using scrap wood. So we used a piece of scrap wood from that same one by three. We changed out the drill guide to the plug cutter and made our own pocket hole plugs. And it's really just as simple as drilling them as shown. And it's kind of the same process as drilling a pocket hole screw so or a pocket hole. Um, so it's really pretty simple. All you do is drill them and then you can trim the bottom of the piece of wood with the miter saw just slowly until the pocket hole plugs um, are loosened enough to just slide out as shown. So once you've got your pocket hole plugs all made, you can put them in the pocket holes. And to do this, you just want to add a little bit of wood glue to the inside of the pocket hole and then uh, all around the plug and then just push it into place and kind of wipe the excess glue so it's nice and um, cleaned up as much as you can. And then once that is dried, you'll come back and sand that nice and smooth and you won't um, be able to see the pocket hole as much. It'll be nice and covered up and filled. All right, so then once that's dry, like I said, you come back with your orbital sander and sand it down. So on the parts where I was sanding down a lot, I used 80 grit sandpaper to just get rid of the excess plug and the wood glue. And then I switched to 150 grit sandpaper and hit everything else and then wiped away all my sanding dust when I was finished. 
Now, if you wanted to stain the rack, you'd do that first and let it dry. We opted to keep things natural, so when we moved right onto sealing, we used this aerosol spray lacquer. We applied four light coats of it and then rubbed everything down with steel wool afterwards uh, to smooth it all out. Um, you want to do that anytime you're using a spray sealer. All right, so then we wanted to add the leather strap to the front. And for this, I had scrap leather. I actually, several years ago, we found a uh, leather couch that someone was getting rid of and taking to the dump and we like skinned the whole thing. So I have just endless amounts of recycled leather, which I love to use on projects. So I cut the leather down. Uh, I cut it about one inch wide using a rotary cutter and a cutting mat. And then I measured where it was supposed to go according to the woodworking plans. We put it about, I think it was three and a quarter from the top and we attached it. So to attach it, we used some hot glue to hold it in place and press that down for a few seconds. And then after that was dry, we came back with a staple gun and just secured it along the uh, back where you can't see the staples. And then we got it hung up on the wall. I absolutely love how it turned out. I can't believe we made the whole thing with just one piece of wood. I think my favorite part is the leather, which is just a great addition to the front and gives it kind of a modern look. And if you don't have any scrap leather laying around like we do, you could use old leather belts or just get a leather strap from the craft store. Or you could probably even use like an aluminum bar across the front, which would be a fun little accent as well. So, to so I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it, um, but we ended up finding the perfect spot in our new homeschool room. We are homeschooling this year, and I'm gonna have more to share all about that in a future video. We're gonna give you a whole tour of the new space. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it when we share that video of the new room tour. And then I think you would like this video next. If you guys wanna see any more DIY tutorials, be sure to visit makingmanzanita.com. And if you want to download the free woodworking plans for this, you can visit the link in the description over at craigtool.com.